For the best prices and service on Pokemon TCG singles and products, check out ccgcastle.com and use promo code EVOLUTIONARIES-5 for 5% off your next order. What's up guys? And here and for today's Deck Tech Thursday, I'm going to be showing you guys my Galissapod deck. Now this is mainly focusing on the new Galissapod GX we just got from Burning Shadows. And speaking of new, as you guys may already know, from this way onward, all of our deck techs are going to be following the new standard format of the rotation after Worlds. So Breakthrough onward is going to be what we follow for these decks. So none of the amazing cards from Ancient Origins are before. And without, with that, let's get right into it. First of all, I run four copies of the new Wimpod. Now, I picked the new Wimpod because of its ability Wimp Out. During your first turn, this Pokemon has no retreat cost, which is pretty good considering even though this is the best Pokemon in the deck, like it starts up everything, you don't always want to start with him. And not to mention, three retreat is pretty bulky. However, that actually does come in handy for us later on, and I'll show you why. Next up here is the main event of the deck. Three copies of Galissapod GX, and one copy of the non-GX Galissapod from Guardians Rising. Now, as for Galissapod GX, his attacks are pretty neat, actually. For a single Grass Energy, he does 30 damage, and if it was on the bench and became your active that same turn, it does 90 more damage, so, <clears throat> forgive me, does about 120, does at least 120 damage for a single Grass Energy, which is really, really good, and you can boost those numbers up even higher with Choice Band, Professor Kukui, just really awesome. You don't really focus on the other two attacks too much, but they're not terrible. For a Grass and two Colors, it, Armor Press does 100 damage, and you take 20 less damage next turn. And as for the GX attack goes, Crossing Cut, 150, and you switch him with one of your bench Pokemon. So again, they're not terrible attacks, but the one that you mainly focus on is First Impression. And as for why I run one non-GX Galissapod, this one I feel is actually kind of underestimated. Because first of all, its ability is pretty good, being able to take 30 less damage from attacks, whether it's active or bench. Essentially making him 160 stage 1, which is amazing. And also its attack for a Grass and Double Colorless does 80 damage, and if your opponent's Pokemon is, an act, is it Pokemon EX or GX, does 70 more damage. So 150 minimum for just being an EX or GX. And then with a Choice Band, that's 180, hitting those magic numbers. And then with Kukui, 210. So really, really good right here. Again, I feel he's very underestimated. All right, and let's get on to our next Pokemon, the one I feel you always want to start with. Four copies of Tapu Koko promo. Now, of course, you use him just for a flying flip, which is amazing. Does 20 damage to all of your opponent's Pokemon, active and bench. So really good spraying of damage everywhere, making those one hit KOs with Galissapod even easier. And also the fact that he has free retreat too makes setting up your first impression so much easier. Just an amazing, amazing card. Probably, I think probably one of the best promos we've gotten this year. Easily. Alright, and last up for our Pokemon our lineup here, we run two copies of Tapu Lele, the new meta. Shaman has officially been replaced as the meta, and Lele is the new meta. Woo! Lele the new Meta Knight! But no, yeah, Lele is just amazing. Gotta run at least two, if not three. Alright, and that does it for the Pokemon lineup. Pretty straightforward down to the point what I like about Pokemon decks. And now let's go into our supporter count up. All right, next up here, we've got four copies of Professor Sycamore. Very obvious reasons, discard your hand, draw seven, best we got. And also we have three copies of N and one copy of Lily. Now turn one Lily is amazing, especially since it's not all that hard to get your hand down to zero on your first turn. At least I've never found it to be too difficult. And hand down to zero means you play that Lily, you draw eight cards for your first turn, and you get set up pretty, pretty good. And next up, you know, what is Galissapod without three copies of ya boy, Guzma? That's right, Guzma is the new Lysander and so much better than Lysander. It has the same Lysander effect where you bring up one of your opponent's bench Pokemon, but you also switch your active with one of your bench too. So let's say you have something in the active that you don't want in the active. You play a Guzma, get out of Pokemon, then you bring up a Galissapod GX to the active. That says in meta condition for first impression, 
You smacked him really, really hard for a single grass energy. So yeah, go figure. Even in the card game, Guzma's still helping out his main Pokemon, Galissapod. And now for my one of supporters, I play one Skyla just to help get out everything we need. One Acerola, just just to get something out of, out of the active mainly. Like let's say a damaged active Pokemon is about to be knocked out and we got a bench Galissapod ready to go. We just play the Acerola, pick up the Pokemon, bring up the Galissapod, meta conditions, boom, smacks really hard. And another Pokemon, another support to help us meet that condition is going to be one copy of Olympia. Now you switch your active Pokemon with one of your bench and heal 30 damage from the Pokemon you move to your bench. So kind of same reason with Acerola, you switch up your active damage Pokemon, bring up a Galissapod, and then conditions met, your Pokemon's healed a bit, and you smack really, really hard. And last up for our supporters, one copy of Professor Kukui, just to help us do even more damage and just for the possible one-hit chaos with a single grass. So, really, it's amazing. Just amazing right here. And we play so many more supporters now because of the fact that we're using a new rotation, and we do not have VS Seeker any longer. So we got to really up up our supporter game. And that does it for supporters. Now let's get into our items. Run four copies of Ultra Ball, discard two, search any Pokemon you want, very standard stuff. And I'll also run three copies of Heavy Ball. Now this is where that three retreat cost I was saying about earlier comes in. <clears throat> because you search your deck for any Pokemon with that retreat cost of three or more. So that searches out all four of our wind pods and all of our Galissapod GX's. So seven Pokemon right there off the bat that we could search with Heavy Ball and we don't even have to discard anything, which that's a huge deal now because normally with Ultra Ball, you would just discard your supporters, get a Pokemon and use VS Seeker later on, but we don't have VS Seeker anymore. So you definitely want to be a bit more careful of what you toss out. <clears throat> I mean, you still want to play for Ultra Ball. Like it's Ultra Ball. You gotta play four. You gotta. But, as I said before, you gotta be a bit more, bit more careful with this now. So that's why I run the additional three heavy ball. <clears throat> Sorry, it's just something's really in my throat today. All right, next up here, we've got three copies of Choice Band, just to change the 120 base first impression to 150 base to an EX or GX. So really, really amazing. Probably one of the best tool cards I think we've ever gotten. Period. All right, next up here to Escape Rope. Yeah, we run a lot, a lot of cards to help us meet Galissapod's condition. Which, with every day we run, you're always going to be doing at least 120 with Galissapod. All right, next up here to Revitalizer. Now this is just in case some of our Galissapods get knocked out and we need to evolve more. And that's where the two Revitalizer come into play. You could take one out if you would like, but I feel comfortable with two personally. But if you want to run at least one, then that's perfectly fine, though I don't recommend running any less than one. All right, next up here, obvious reasons, we've got two copies of Field Blower. Amazing, amazing card. Get rid of up to two tools and or stadiums, so very good. And last up for our items, I run one copy of Max Potion. Now, the reason I run Max Potion in here is because most of the time you're only going to be attacking with a single colorless energy, single grass energy, sorry. And let's say your Glyph Spot takes a lot of damage and you don't really have any way to get him out of there in time, or you just don't want your opponent to take an easy knockout. So you would play the Max Potion, get rid of what's most likely going to be just a single grass energy, heal everything, and you just attach one right away, and boom, you're back in business. And that finishes it up for the items. Now to the stadiums and energy. I played two Parallel City for my stadiums. Now I know this has a side to where it limits your damage output a little bit, but you don't really want to put it on that side because you bench a lot of things and maybe maybe there's certain decks out there that you just want to get rid of your bench space. Like say you want to get rid of your Lele's for example. It will just play this on your side Get rid of those Lele's. I almost said Lily's there. I keep getting that mixed up with Lily and Lele. But 
And also too, this side facing your opponent isn't always bad because we still have Volcano. The format of Volcano is still very powerful. And being able to reduce their damage just help us out. All right, and now for our energy we play one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight single basic grass energies and four double colorless energies. And that wraps up the Gulissapod deck. All right, guys, if you like what you saw, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you're new to the channel. And come back tomorrow where I take on Professor K's Darkrai deck. Can Galissapod beat Darkrai? In the video game, it would be my favorable matchup. So let's hope it's still my favorable matchup tomorrow. Because I don't like having my losing streak. Anyways, this has been End with the Pokemon Evolutionaries. And I will catch you guys later.